It's a new year, it's a new me. I'm Kaylee, Kaylee Cross Stitch. This is my flawless you. Welcome to you. Sometimes I complain about my job because, I mean, I'm a teacher and uh, we're still in a pandemic world. Sometimes I gush about my cat Susie. Look at how cute she is. Oh, oh, <laughs> but most of all, I want to show more love. Hashtag Chris it up, cause we're all human beings. Hi human. Okay, let's show some crust. This is convenient because look who decided to just lay on my lap and be cute, cute as can be. Look at my cat, Susie. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> um, hey, I'm Kaylee. This is my channel, Kaylee Cross Stitch, where I chat with you about cross stitch and whatever's on my mind. Sometimes it's my life, sometimes it's my cat, sometimes it's just cross-stitch. Um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna uh, not do some musings today. I have stuff for musings, but but um, I can't I can't not take advantage of my cat just sitting on my lap and relaxing. So I don't know. We'll see how I feel at the end of all of the things that I have to show you because I have to show you a lot. It is February 15th, 2022, and this is Floss 238, and this is my cat Susie. She's so cute. I was sitting here for a little bit. She jumped up, and then I realized that I didn't have one of my whips or my beverage. I was going to do it without the beverage, and then I realized I didn't have one of my most important whips this week, and I had to go get it. But thankfully, she was, she was, uh, not too mad at me, so she's back on my, on my lap. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I feel like similar to last week in that I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff to show. Um, it's been about two weeks, I think, actually. Wait, is it two weeks to the day? Hmm, Tuesdays. Um, I have an FFO. And I'm going to ask that you check my Instagram because I'm not going to disturb the Susie too much. But I'm going to give you a little peek here. You see it? There's Moroccan Sampler. FFO'd. I'm going to try to not get too much with my... It's a very precarious setup there. Um, yeah, it's it, it was a piece by Cliffside Stitches. And please go check out my Instagram to see, you know, the 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 full version. So I just framed that in a in a 11 by 14 frame, and it's a little uneven, but whatever. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, and I found that frame at a bargain market called Ollie's. That's here in in Maryland, and it it was like seven dollars or something. The frame was, and I was like. I mean, I'm sure something's going to fit in this at some point. And I don't know if you remember when I finished Norwegian Sampler, I used actual nails. <laughs> I'm, I mean, there were small nails, but it wasn't really the best. But then I got these from my colleague and I just used push pins, like that have the ball on the head. And, and it finished a little bit cleaner this time because the pins are hidden. 
um, but it by no means is a professional job. And I would show you, I, I would show you it, but I don't want to, I don't want to disturb my cat. Um, but I, I literally just folded the, the fabric over the, the cardboard back of the frame. So if I were to turn this around, you'd see fabric showing on the back and I don't care. Um, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's in a frame. It's better than some of my other things that I have been sitting in in uh, bags for years, and I'm over it. I'm over being worried about something being framed perfectly rather than not at all. So, yeah, I'm just framing stuff. Look at my hair. I don't know why I'm looking at myself so much. Um, that was an FFO. I fully finished object. I have an FO. I showed you in my haul last time that I got a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads kit, and here it is finished. I did this in like two days, and it it is very fun. I was a little, I was a little like, I don't know if anybody else is like this. Here, I'm gonna turn on the other one of these lights so maybe I can get some better light for what I'm showing y'all. Hang on. We're we're a real you know set set up prepared operation here at Kaylee Cross Stitch, you know. Is that a little better? Yeah. Boy, it's washing it out then. <laughs> um, but there's my there's my little sheep. This is called Little Lamb. Little Lamb. And these are definitely incorrect. The stitches in between the beads. I definitely did those wrong. I think I did eyelets or something, and they were supposed to be crosses or something like that. I don't know. I just like was so excited to try it. I just started going, and I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the beads, um, and they're okay. I mean, I liked it. I liked it. I'm gonna do another one, but I was, I don't know. Oh, here's what I was saying. I don't know if anybody is like this, but I. I sometimes don't want to try something because there's a lot of hype around it or I don't want to watch something and then I try it or I watch it and I'm like ah, yeah it's pretty good <laughs> so that's that's me in Mill Hills so I'm sure I'll get I'll get some more um, I know they have a music kit which or a music one which looks pretty cool and that's the um, that's a bigger one I think I checked for it at my LNS and they didn't have it so I probably would have bought it when I bought that one but alas Okay, I have, that was a new start and a finish. So a hashtag SAF, S-A-F, start and finish. Then I'm gonna jump to haul for one moment. So, you, so you're like, where did she get that? Um, I was in a live talking about t stitching tiny and uh, my friend Karen Needlebug, I hope she doesn't mind that I'm telling her or telling everybody about her. She sent me some 56 count even weave now y'all are like wait kaylee 56 count even weave i thought there was only 40 count even weave me too that's what i thought too and then karen popped into one of my lives and she was like hey i'll send you this fabric and she sent me like a lot of it <laughs> um and i love it i i love it so much i i had tried um, where did I put it? Oh, yes. I think I showed you this last time, but I tried stitching one over one full cross on 40 count. And I I really liked it. But I was using, I was doing a pattern that, like, I wasn't super duper interested in. Bleh. Wow. Gorgeous. You know, the camera focuses really well, but the lighting is still, is still weird. <laughs> we'll see if I can get any better at this. Um, and I loved it. It's so delicate. It's so pretty. And I didn't keep going on this because I didn't, I don't know why. I think, you know, the first time you're just like a little shell shocked by it, but I love it. I'm going to stitch more on one over one on 40 count, but you know me, I have a tiny things collection. And I'm inspired by Ymir, Omen m ms and she does one over one on 56 count, but she uses linen because you can't find 56 count even weave, or so we thought. But Karen sent this to me, and then I was like, oh my goodness, I love it. 
I'll show you what I started on it. And I was like, where did you find it? And she said, she messaged me again and she said, hey, I just got off the phone with Zweigart and they don't make it anymore. What? What? Zweigart, what are you doing? Zweigart, what are you? No, stop. What are you doing, Zweigart? I need more of this. Because I'm going to stitch everything on it as soon as Ymir die, uh, releases all of her all of her very fine silks. So anyway, that was my a little bit of... Oh, I guess this is stitchy kindness. So it's not in the incorrect section. I'm just doing stitchy kindness after my FFO. And F... Oh wait, this is an FFO. My little lamb. I mean, it came with a magnet, but I don't think I'm going to put it on a magnet. And I left a one... I cut, left one little cut there so that if I want to hang it, it can hang. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Anybody, anybody out there in the stitchy world, do you know where you can find 56 count even weave? I believe it's named Mel Doll. That's what Karen told me, and I, and I trust her. You know, it was funny. She said that in a live, and I, I was like, doesn't she mean Veridol and it's 40 count? But because it's Karen, I was like, no, she probably knows what she's talking about. And she does. And she did. And she sent it to me. Can you believe that? So I did send some to Ymir. But somebody's going to really have to sweet talk me in order to, for me to send you any of this. Because as far as I know, it's the last piece on the planet. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if anybody has any leads on how to find more of this, I will, I will pay way more money than they usually do on fabric because I'm a cheapskate but I will pay way more than I usually do for even weave, 56 count. I mean, all, if all else fails, I'll just st stitch on linen like your mirror because I know it's possible. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you want to know what I started on that? So I started a pattern that I've already stitched, actually. And this, do I have it on this slide? Let me check. I don't think I do. I have it on a, another slide, but it is the... Um, the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious pattern that I stitched uh, before I started my floss tube, uh, but I got docious. Docious. So this is one over one full cross on 56 count. Isn't that, you can't even tell how teeny tiny it is. Look on my Instagram for better pictures because this is not really a uh, showing it very well, but for scale, you know, this is the size of my face and this is like 2000 stitches, I think at least. So it's pretty small. The one that I stitched before I stitched three over one on 14 count and it was, it was like this big. You can check my Instagram, um, for this and that finish that I did before. So this is using a almond m ms Ymir. <laughs> this is basically an advertisement for Ymir's products and her stitching style. Um, this is Twilight. Oh, I'm, I'm shifting too much for the cat. Twilight, and if you can read that, it's a 12-ply, and it's a silk. So it has 12 strands instead of six, like a normal DMC does. And I was talking with Ymir and apparently hers is like the smallest. Like there are some other silks that are 12 ply, but they're, she, I trust her, but I'll have to try them out. But she said that hers are actually smaller. I got to learn a lot about, you know, sourcing flosses so that you can be a dyer. Yeah, docious. And I didn't stop there. So I was like, I just love this so much. And Ymir is a huge inspiration. And this is part of Hall. Um, but I, I saw her stitch this. And I was like, that's actually really, really cute. Little house needlework, schoolgirl lessons. And... I wanted desperately to be in a stitch along with you, Mir, and I was going to do it on 40 count, and then I was like, no, I have this 56 count, and I'm going to do it on that. 
originally I'd kitted it up with 40 count and then and then I was like no yeah you heard that right kitted it up have you ever seen me kit something up no well I did and I have another kitted thing okay so here's where I got it's so little it's so little Are you kidding? Look at how dainty that is. It's so little. So I'm stitching super califri in a hoop and I'm stitching this in hand and I started it up here because I want to stitch like four of them. Because <laughs> I have all of these Ymir flosses that I need to try. So I am stitching this one with Firefly. And this was from, this was from the December floss box from Almond m &Ms. And it's on this cute little spool. And I was stitching, I started up here in the top left. And here's a lesson about variegation and really high count fabric. I started up here with A, and then I stitched C, and then I went down and stitched these stars. And I went over and I, and I stitched four leaves before I ran out of a ran out of my length of thread. And so that much orange, and then without you know flipping variegation. So then I was like, well, then it did the same thing for the purple. And so I was like, well, ooh, I get to be creative. I get to have two colors basically in one in one thread so yeah that's really fun and I also <laughs> I want to stitch this again because I need to try to use I need to try these ones heliotrope that's pretty it's like a pink and purple and of course I have to stitch it in red too and do in fire so I believe that these um, bobbins are the 12 ply and then Ymir separates it and winds them on these bobbins. Like, how much time do you put into this? And I appreciate the time that you put into this. I do have some other ones too in here, but they are, um, they're just the regular six strand one ply. So they're, I wouldn't use them on 56 count because it would be too bulky, but I am talking so much. And did you guys, I, I did a live this week and it was like three hours. I felt like talking so much. I don't know what's gotten into me. Okay. So those were my new starts. Do I have, no, that's, that's all my new starts. And I have whips too. I have whips. WIP work in progress for those of you who are just watching my floss tube for the, or watching a floss tube video for the first time. I always wonder this, like, who is actually watching that is absolutely brand new to floss tube? Like, I, I understand why we're explaining what the acronyms are because it's just, it's common courtesy. But part of me is like, I watch so many floss tube videos a week, sometimes, <laughs> when I'm in the mood to watch floss tube. And so many people just explain what they mean. And I'm like, what, uh, it's just like a strange phenomenon. Like people could be watching this for the first time. Hi, if you are, have you watched a floss tube video before? If you haven't, feel free to comment and tell me. Okay, um, whips, what, do, what did I work on? I also worked on Iowa for a few days. And this one I'm just trying to get done. Do I have a photo? I have a photo of this. My mouse is being really strange and, and clicking twice when I only click once. I don't know why. Um, this is done on 20 count uh, Ada 2 over 1 full cross. And I hate it. <laughs> I started this in July and it's, it's February. And it's only like 50% done. And it's not that big. So clearly I just like hate the fabric. Like I hate the fabric floss combination. I will be stitching one over one over one on 20 count from now on. It's just so bulky and it's, um, it's really annoying when 
when this kind of project I can't stitch fast so I like to stitch this fast but the t the 20 count really slows me down with two two threads but I'm getting there I just get some momentum and I and I could call it collar complete this this is a, a stitches lover shop a pattern on Etsy and uh, I'll put a link in the description oh and I didn't tell you about this one I'll also put a link I bought this one a long time ago so I don't remember exactly what what shop it's from she's like sleeping she's so cute she's my kitty cat okay and then I worked on my seasonal earth salve and it looks like this Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Fifth time's the charm. And I am nearly done, you guys. I don't remember where it was last time, but I'm nearly done. All I have is the fox's butt, his tail, and then the, the blue lines and the two um, dead flowers. And that's it. I think it's like a little over a thousand stitches left. So within, it depends on if I feel like working on it, but you know how it is. When you're near a finish, you feel like working on it. So yeah, very close to a finish. And I would like to finish that with an ASMR. Wouldn't that be fun? And that is from Cross Stitch for the Earth by Emma Congdon. And my version is stitched on 16 count Ada two over one full cross and I do have other ones that I want to start in here and I want to start them on smaller count fabric okay and one last whip and I still have haul are you cleaning yourself now are you cleaning yourself now huh you guys I always wished for a lap cat or I always wanted one and she is a lap cat she doesn't like being picked up, but she likes being, she likes sitting. Um, yeah, I don't have a cover photo of this, but it's a mystery sal, so. So you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. This is the Modern Folk Embroidery 2022 stitch along. Can you hear him? Cat like ASMR, gross. And I am behind. I have Engel. I think her name is Engeltje. Oh, Dylan's home. He's using my leave. Um, but I need, I have some catching up to do. I got distracted by 56 count. So this is 32 count. One over one full cross. And I figured out for me that I think 32 count is the smallest I can go over one full cross with regular DMC or six strand six ply floss. So I really like it. It's really pretty. Um, and now I know that I can, that's 32 is kind of the limit, but I could stitch, you know, some other things on it. And this is with a, another Ymir floss from the December box. And this was the Hank in the box and I I think it's called blood orange but I'm still unsure <laughs> and it's on a floss strap from Dr. Christie creepy baby creepy baby floss strap okay that's it for for projects um I'm gonna talk about haul you guys this is a regular floss tube <laughs> I'm not going to do musings because I've already talked way too much and I want to stitch. I guess I could stitch while I muse, but I think I'm going to skip the musing for, for this week. But I'm, I need to show you my haul because I've been buying stuff. I've been buying lots of stuff still and I'm okay with it. Like I'm really getting into projects that are not full coverage, which is a little strange. I never thought that I would do that. but. I never thought. I thought that I might do it, but I didn't know it was happening now. But it's happening. <laughs> so I bought um, XG fabrics, my first XG design fabrics. 
And of course, it's 56 count. This is... Which one is this? Let me take it out. I picked up like five things to show you one thing. Gray sand. And these I ordered straight from her Etsy. And it, it took a while for them to come. And they smell really weird. Um, it took a while for them to come, but whatever. You know, it's beautiful fabric. It came. And this is in a kit. I've never kitted stuff up, you guys. I usually, like, just buy the flosses buy the fabric and I start it but I, this is the first time that all of the materials have been in a bag and I did not start that start it so this is also I I got um, baby sheep 56 count from XG design what is this bonus I didn't even know this oh what? What? I got a bonus sampler blue 20 count swagart balana even weave what look at this little bonus piece you guys what I didn't even this was tucked in here I didn't even find it until now hey Genuine surprise. Okay, so on this, I'm going to stitch Greek Island Sampler by Cliffside Stitches. Um, this is another Cliffside Stitches, and I want, this was the next one that I wanted to start. And I was going to do it on a 40 count uh, Old Massachusetts linen. I think I told you that last time, but then I saw this, and I was like, ooh, that's going to look really good. And I substituted one of the DMC... Let me show you what I subbed. So this was the original color for the blue. And I am going to use Almanum's tie-dye silks instead. Tell me if you... Never mind, don't tell me. I already decided. That's going to be, be my substitute. So I'm going to I'm gonna have a little bit of variegation. So this is 56 count linen, and I will be able to stitch this one over one. One over two, excuse me. Full cross, and it'll be sort of equivalent to 28 count. <laughs> she's going to she's going to go. She almost tipped off. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? I love my cat. Okay, um I'm get You guys, this is already 28 minutes long. Like who am I? Who am I? Darcy messaged me after last week's video because it was 49 minutes because I had like musings for 30 minutes. And he was like, 49 minutes? This is an epic. Okay, what else did I buy? Um, I bought some stuff from 123Stitch because I bought the schoolgirl school girl lessons. And classic floss tuber. I, I didn't really know that this happens until it happened to me. Like, I didn't believe that it happened, but I just was, like, browsing and browsing and browsing, and, and all of a sudden, like, I bought three things. It's like, how does that happen? So, here's what else. <laughs> you guys are like, Kaylee, you're such a noob. I know. Um, here's what else I bought. I bought Stony Creek Collection, Stitching to the Music, because music. And I don't know when I'm going to stitch this, but <laughs> I'm a music teacher, so I have to have some music patterns right life is beautiful where there's love laughter and music life is a song it's all good I kind of I like this one and these are, these are cool too nice and small okay and then I got this one African Queens I thought the colors were really nice on that. I don't know when this is going to be stitched. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, it's happening. I'm collecting patterns and that's my hobby. Oh no. Um, and then because I started stitching on 56 count, I was like, y'all, these 28 DMC Bowen John James needles are not cutting it. 
So 20, size 28 tapestry needles is too big. It's too big. So first, I was like, oh yeah, Yamir said beading needles. And so I ordered these on Amazon and they came first, size 15. And yes, those are incredibly long. They're too long. They're too long to really be good, but they're, they're very thin. Um, so, and they have a sharp tip, which it's not the best for cross stitching, but it was, it, it worked. And I liked stitching in hand better than I liked stitching in the hoop with this. Um, because the sharp tip in a hoop, especially if your fabric is really taut, it finds, it finds the in between the, in between the threads, but not in the hole <laughs> really easily. Okay. So then I was on Etsy and I was like, oh, this shop has 20 or short beading tapestry point needles from John James. So the key I found out is to have short needles because all the rest of the beading needles that I bought, <laughs> I got 25 size 13. I got size 12. But this was because I was trying to get the free shipping from, from one, from one shop. I, I was only going to buy the, the tapestry short ones, but then they're all, they're all really, really long. And then I got, I don't know if you can see that. These are little key charms. Cause I was trying to just like get $35 worth of stuff. <laughs> and I also got thread magic, which I've never tried. So I'm excited to try this. And maybe my, uh, my habit of stitching with really long threads can continue. Okay. Is that everything? Did I get everything? I think I did. So my plans are yet again to sweet wee, stitch what I want when I want. Um, oh, oh, I do have other haul. Yeah. But my plans are sweet wee. My ha the other haul does not really involve cross stitch, but it does relate. So, um, yeah, my plans are to sweet wee. <laughs> so I'll probably finish seasonal earth. And then I will keep stitching on 56 count because I love it. Um, I don't think I showed you this. Maybe I did show you this, but I got this at Michael's when I was buying a bunch of frames. Uh, yeah, I don't think I showed you this, but I might have talked about it. And I think I paid too much for it. But it's I it's my first time buying washi tape. So then I was at Michael's today because I wanted to see if they had beading needles in the store. And they don't. Maybe I was looking in the wrong spot. But... I don't think they do. They don't carry John James. So I was like, yeah, they maybe don't have it. And I went in the washi tape section and a lot of it was on clearance. So you know that this popped out at me and you might be like, hmm, why did that pop out at you, Kaylee? I already arranged these. This is why it popped out at me is I saw this. I saw Betsy's name and tell me, please tell me if you have seen, if you've heard this saying, with all be heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy. Oh my stars. Please. Please capture that as the as the thumbnail. If it doesn't capture it, I'll probably just take a screenshot. Okay. So then I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. And then I was looking at all the other options because I didn't know how many options there are at Michael's for washi tape. And this caught my eye. And who do you think this reminds me of? Chris. Look at this washi tape. It looks like your Fruits of Lenny still fresh fruit. Because it's the, it's the pottery colors. Isn't that pretty? Um, so also in my haul is a tiny junk journal, a mini junk journal, two of them. And I was like, I need to tape 
my mini projects in them somehow. I don't, whatever. <laughs> we'll just see. Uh, so I got those. And then I've never tried adhesive runners. So I have permanent, permanent dot. What even is this? And repositionable? Like, Michaels, why you gotta have stuff that, like, I'm like, what does that do? I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna spend money on it. When, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna spend, or I'm gonna use all of this. Like, it, <laughs> they had these in single packs, and I was like, no, I need to try all three. <sighs> okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. You might see an ASMR video soon because I want to finish Seasonal Earth on an ASMR because that has good ASMR. And I'll see you on Sundays for a live every week at 10 o'clock Eastern time. That's it. My ukulele's at school, so I can't sing to you. I could sing to you. Oh, by the way, um, no, I'm not going to tease it. Okay, bye.